Hello everybody and welcome back to Russian Fishing for Seversky Donuts Donuts and we're gonna head down to the hole here do some burbot fishing go for a sturgeon whatever we can think of do some casting I fished there yesterday it was pretty good cut some cool fish it wasn't like super fast or anything and then we can try live bait first time I really did it on camera first time I did it on camera I haven't fished with it tons but I got a nice rig set up that I can explain how I do my setup so you don't snap your rods. I see a lot of rods being snapped. What do we I got? Mean, Let's go down a little bit more in the head of the pool. That looks really good for some drift, and if we get that, uh, I believe I can just dunk it right over that weeds into that hole. All right, let's go through that reel or rig, and I'll explain what I mean. It's on my mecha carp. I got it. Oh, I got the hair rig on there. We got to change it to. Where's the live bait? Bait fish. Bite indicator cowbell. Bottom sinker. I'm gonna go with a 56 classic leader. We got 13.8s. Oh, it's the different ones. All right, big fish hook. I'm gonna try the Simmons LF10. Weird, definitely a weird looking hook. And bait fish. These are all dead. These are mostly ones I bought. Some of these purchased by. I didn't know what was going on. You should wait because they actually go bad. You can still use them, but they see their bars down. I think they're less lively. Oh, I might as well show you this. These bait fish have these weights. 20 grams for those. 40 grams for the gudgeons, 40 for the smelt, they just call them bait fish. Rufi are 45, but these perch are big, and so are them. So they overpower a lot of my, even the, even my carp rod with a sinker that I need. I'm having trouble with perch, and which is too bad, because perch are one of the things sturgeon seem to be loving here. But anyways, today we're going with gudgeon. And that's that. Oh, I'll show you how I balance them out. All right, I got my real 35 kg rod. So you can't break that unless you got line over 35 kgs. That's easy enough. But I got a 45, 14 and a half kg reel. I got 17, so that's over that. So that would put the lowest thing be in the reel so you could break your reel. I don't want to break my Narga. So I offset that with a 13. I didn't mean to hit that. 13 kg leader, which then is the lowest. It's lower than the reel, lower than the rod, and lower than the line. So that will be sacrificed. So the most I can lose is that and that. And the downside is you can play, you gotta play your fish a lot longer, but I'm a man, I can handle it. Let's fish a little lag spike. All right, I wanna be in that hole though. Oh, this could be a great way to fish this hole. Let's go clipping. Let's try 30 to start with. I got a nice long leader on there. I'll make some leaders today. All right, then we're off. Then we're going to go in with a crawler with some cheesy che. I'll throw Cheesy Che up on the screen right now for people that haven't. I've did it in many of the videos, but. Oh, yeah, we're in the hole, for sure. Let's see what we got on the Percy next. 13.8, so that's the lowest. Just under, that's a nice, got that maxed out. Size 8, let's change that. Let's go in with a 2. Why not? Let's go crawler. Feed mix, cheesy che, 10 out of 10. Ooh. Let's do this one, 35. This one's a caster. We got it. I got it set up with one of the jigs I make. And let's see what we get. 12, 12 and a half gram jig head fish 
was not jig stepping good. I casted this with some pretty good luck yesterday, but I was. Oh, yeah. Alright, we got something on the gudge. Maniac perch. What do we got here? Oh, it's taking some good drag. She's taking a little drag. It might just be a catfish. Yep, little catfish. Nothing I couldn't handle. 2.27. Got you, fish. I do got roofies, too. I can handle roofies all right on this rig, too. What do we got there? Just a perch? A perch. 380. Three roofies. We got five gudge left. I should have bought a couple live ones. We'll do it next time. I'm going to buy a new rod real soon, so then we can do it with a comparison. Fish. A little perch. Get right that way. I think at night we'll just throw in a little rod. Some worms, some red worms. See if we can get any monster roofies or anything. Or a roofie we can use for live bait. Ooh, there's a nicer fish. A little drag fish. Nice. I'll take another cast. What do we got there? Xander, it looks like. Yep, 1.265. Take it. Let's try one more. Sometimes Xander's a bite good all night. Mm, fish. Tiny. Come on, I want to snag some burbots. First time I fished here, it was fabulous burbot fishing. Just when the lake opened. Then I came back, it wasn't so good. Yesterday it was alright. I think I got four, three flags. What do we got there? Not a stupid bream. God, I hate them things. That cheesy che. 8 out of 10. Alright, nothing on that one. I think it drifted funny. I couldn't get a jig step going when I was bringing that fish in. Alright, I'm going to go with the Serrano 130. Size 12, stone fly clap, basic feed, and I got another river for 50 grams. She's straight 7.5, 6.8. Fish. Yep, she's a burbski. 1.2. That may be a 2kg here. 
it's not even a brew bot. It's a freaking bream. Is it a good one though? Yeah, it is. I like those breams. Let's dig some bugs, Bev. Ooh, Caddis. Oh, better. I fell off. Dang it. There's another big lip there. I'm do some drifting. I'd like to get me a big old some sunfish. But my goal here with this, uh, I'll show you with that stone fly. I know that probably sounds weird to people that haven't seen this. These Black Sea cut them. I noticed this yesterday and I fished with them. I didn't get any. I got some stuff on the stone fly, so I even caught a, uh, one of the sturgeons here. Russian sturgeon, I think. Just a two kg or but that was crazy. But Ray caught one of these. It was under two kgs and it was ninety-four thousand XP. So I'm gonna Ooh. Got a fish? Probably another two kg or one point eight. So that's my idea with stonefly. And you can get stuff on them. I think they're huge in America out west for fly fishing when they hatch the fish go crazy for them yeah that's an alright bird bot that's a money maker 2.4 nice oh Dang, these fish yep that's bourbon three kg Yep, 3.1. Somebody's asking about my burbot. See if we get a little action on this in the morning. If not, what do we pull in? We want to leave that in. I pull the crawler in. But this is an enjoyable spot. It's a busy spot because you can. One thing about this river is you just got all your weapons available to you. You can drift, you can feed, or you can troll, you can, you know, sunfish, catfish, cut them, and just go on and on and on. Sturgeon. It's, it's a cool river. I like it. Take her down, fish. Take it down. Maybe I'll pull in the live bait for the day. Leave the crawler out there? That seems silly, though. What do we do during the day? I'd like to get just some exploratory baits in, do some drifting and some casting. So what? Let's, let's pull in the live bait. Just for sake of numbers today. We did good. I've had days where I don't get anything. I really was trying to force feed those perch at first on my rigs, but this rod really can't handle it. And then you go too small a sinker and it's currents pulling it around. Oh, we'll, uh, I bet you at, maybe at, like, Cory it would work. I'll have to try that. Let's see. Fish. Fish. Oh, we got your drag going out. Oh, there's the stony fish. I'd like to catch a cut of 97,000 for not even a 2k gear. That's insane. I'm not even sure if that was happy hour. I think Ray has happy hour done. What is that tiny thing? 
getting spin fishing. I don't know. Let's go to work. Weekly record catfish, 112 kgs. Well done. We've got that China fish. Probably the guy that gave us all COVID. Let's go with a beer. Breakfast of champions, Bav. I mean, it's 6.30. You're good to drink. Who am I kidding? You can drink anytime you want. You're a free man, Bav. I hope it isn't just a 7 kg catfish or something. It is, though. Mm, 9 kg. Eh. I mean, that's nothing that great. It's a small rig, but it's a freaking Sorrento, baby. Oh, just a nice perch. 590. All right, let's try a drift. Sixty five centimeters. There we go. Chub? Nice job. I dig it. On the bolo, 1.6 chip. Red worm. Little roach. Getting a lot of bites. I've missed a few. I'm trying to get it to go right along these weeds. It seems like it. Great for sunfish lure. Went right along here. Better fish than I thought. What do we got there? Wild card? Yep, 2.2. .2. Bottom fishing, 87%. Sishel? Yep. A little chubbly.
Interstitial. Bad fish. Is that a roach? Yep. Let's try another jig. Tiny. Hmm, let's try another bait. Should we just go for a sturge? Let's do it. We got about 20 minutes left. Yeah, because that's just another one of them things I hate. Alright. I love you, fish, but let's go with a mole cricket. And what do we got for ground bait? Let's go cheesy che. And we'll go right there. We don't have those where I live. They have them out east, I think. At least I know they're out east on the east coast. And they are a nasty bug, but awesome bait, I think, for smallmouth bass, too. Anything. Trout. I, that's like a freaking... Thanksgiving dinner for fish. Fish. Silver. That'll work. All right, let's go with hmm. let's go with the hunter blue big hunter. Problem casting you. Right, you're on there now. Another roach. All right, let's try red worm. I am not having much confidence with this frickin' spoon. And did not act the way I thought it would. Ooh, fish. What the world is that? Oh, a little asp. Nice. Alright, uh. Try one of these spoons. Catch that fish first, huh? Thinking, Bev. What in the world is that? Oh, see, it ain't so. Not one of you. All right, caddis fly. See if we can't catch a roof. I'm sure there's roofs in the hole. Fish. Just a little perch. Just a little perch. 16 XP. One more fish. Let's make it a good one. better one. It's 
so it's a nice place to cast. I usually catch stuff here. I was hoping for some pumpkin seeds, but. Another little asp. Let's do one more cast. Fish. And this will be the last fish. So it's still not a bad day. 30 fish in an hour. That's fish every two minutes, I think. I got a timer going. It's just over an hour right now, 61 minutes, and I think I started a few minutes after. But with the run and how I screw around, it's probably under an hour. 79 grams. One thing, let's go in here and see about making any bait fish. You need the bait bucket for people that don't know. Let's see if we got any perch. Oh, two of them. Let's make them. Just to try to get the skill. Nope. Ooh, bait harvesting. There we go. And that's how you do it. You can make all these. Oh, that's what you bring. Any roaches? I believe these are the hooks here. I'll show you guys this. The Kula shop. All it's really got of interest is these floats and the. I guess it's got some telescopics too. We'll have to look at them. These regular feeder hooks, I guess they're only three and a half stars. Uh, I'll get another one of them 16s. That's a nice size. They are fairly cheap, so maybe I'm overestimating them. The live bait hook's the one I was disappointed in. I don't think we did super great. We didn't lose anything. So nothing in the uh, cafe. Let's go straight fish market by price. And roll it. 9.185 catfish, 13.54. A 3.12 Burbot, 11.15. A 2.473 Burbot, 8.84. 1.683 Chub, 7.83. 1.381 Breen, 4.82. 1.242 Burbot, 4.44. 1.205 Burbot, 4.30. 2.27 Catfish, 3.34. A 3.43 Sichel, 2.69. A 2.19 Perch. Or 590 gram perch, 219. 446 gram roach, dollar 87. 421 roach, dollar 79. Uh, 370 roach, dollar 55. A 380 perch, dollar 41. And then the wild carp perch, 285, 53 cents. Crap, 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 crap. Crap, 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 crap. So the one thing I noticed there is not a great, about 50% flags, maybe even under, that's not very good. 72, I mean I imagine you can make huge money here if you get on a hot spot and be getting big sizes, but I find it it's more of a smorgasbord, you get all kinds of stuff, and I imagine if you can get in on them cutems, you're going to make big money and huge XP. Look at the old millstone, nice. I love the little details they put in. It's pretty cool. All right, everybody, it was real. It's a fun fishing here. I'm going to stay here a while, and I'll let you know. I'll do another episode if I find anything out. I found it to be pretty good fishing everywhere, to tell you the truth. All right, everybody, I'll say it again. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment. Let me know what you think. And let me know about those hooks, especially the live bait ones. I do not have good luck with them. But have a good one, everybody, and I'll see you outside somewhere down here. Take a leak.